Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. I warned you guys that normal programming would resume today. So, what are we all up to? Um, I did some thinking while I was at, at my son's house about the Horde, and I think it's time for one of my collections to, uh, to move on. And I think the collection that has to go is going to have to be the Bolin's co uh, collection. Um, there are several in the Horde. Um, two of them are about in running condition. This is a, um, a 1050 and it's got a modern, more, let me go with more modern Briggs and Stratton 10 horsepower motor on it. You guys could see I had to trim the frame down to get it on. So this one's going to be up for moving on. There's the snow blower that goes with it. So that's one. The second one, I think it's called a G10. Maybe it's a G12. It's basically the same thing, but I think I think a little newer version. Um, it's out here in the tent. So I'm asking you guys to see if anybody knows a um, a Bolin's collector. I'd really like to see all these go to one place together and have one person who knows what they're doing spend some quality time with this. So you can see right there, there's a Bolin's G10. Um, and you can see there's a mower deck on it. And then there's two in the garage. There's a uh, 650 that's got a mower deck on it, and um, that actually ran. I drove it into the garage. Uh, the, the 650 doesn't have the locking rear end. The mower deck isn't all that wide either. Um, well, none of the Boland's mower decks are all that wide. I actually used that to cut the grass a couple of times. But given how narrow the mower deck was, I didn't, uh, there it is, there's the 650. And that has a newer engine on it. I don't know if it's a, um, if you put an 8 or a 10. And then there's a, um, that's another 1050 in the back there, kind of hard to see. That's in original condition. It was running. It belonged to a friend of mine. It was running, but the brakes went out of it. Actually, it belonged to a friend of mine's father-in-law. It was running. The brakes went out of it, so he was afraid to drive it, and he kind of parked it, and it sat outside for a number of years. And then um, it sat... Um, inside basically in here for a number of years that thing probably hasn't been started in well over 10 years um the g10 hasn't been started in over 10 years the other two have not been started in i don't know two or three years um but there they are what i'd like is somebody to come and get all that stuff and really make use of it i that's more important to me than than anything else so yeah, to see to see those uh, four tractors go to a good home and to actually get used would um, would make me happy. Getting the two tractors out of here gives me um, better flexibility. Um, why did I end up with four? Well, the uh, this old stuff is is it's always very hard to deal with if you have no supply of spare parts and a lot of times you can buy an entire tractor for what it costs you for a, a couple of tires or you, you know um or definitely you could buy an entire tractor cheaper than you could buy a motor so 
you, you know, as time went on, whenever I'd see a halfway decent deal, I'd end up with them. Um, between the four of them, what do I have tied up? I, I, I don't know. I probably have somewhere around 500 bucks tied up myself. So um, anyway, anybody out there who, who thinks they want to do some good stuff with it, I mean, right now, that that 650 one could drag it out of there and within a couple of hours they could be cutting grass with it and um, if one puts a little bit more time into the 1050 out in the back there um, in in a short period of time they could actually be blowing snow with it assuming there was snow that they needed to toss so um, the G the G10 I know it needs a starter. I think the mower deck is messed up on it. Don't know, think. Um, one would have to go through it. Okay, so that's about it. So just a short video. Um, yeah, I need, I need to get a few things out of here. If I'm going to concentrate this hard on the Hondas, and the snowblowers are not my primary... Um, way of dealing with snow so I'm, I'm gonna push them over the side I do have an international on the far end there if somebody somebody wanted to make me an offer I'd probably let that go the international there's this snow blower um, one of the snow blowers for the international and I think there's another snow blower too. I would I would probably once again I got a little bit more money tied up in the international and you guys will see that when um when I put the camera on it. What is I think it's a 120. Where'd that snowblower go? That was floating around here somewhere. Oh, yep. There's a snowblower. I think the international of the snowblowers are single stages. There must have been a lot of wind through here. I'm seeing everything uncovered. Must have had some high winds over the weekend. Yeah, there's the International. I think it's a 102. It's got the seat that's really good for hemorrhoids. Metal steering wheel. I don't know, is that a 102? I would probably let the International stuff go too. Um, something else I'm never going to get to. All right, folks. Um, yeah, Harvey wants to concentrate on the Honda stuff and these things though they're they're cool and uh, so forth it's it's not it's not where my my primary move is it's not it's not what I'm gonna put my big time and effort into which means quite honestly eventually it's gonna go to waste um one of you guys also mentioned this Jacobson I'll show you that too the Jacobson had a good motor on it. You can see it looks like it still has the uh, the clutch on it. I got the Jacobson because part of a deal, it's just a big heavy machine, right? Just a bruiser. The snapper here, it, it has a two cylinder motor on it, just a bruiser of a motor. I've been meaning to pull that off too, right? You know, Whenever I could get a deal on stuff, this is a big one longer cast iron Briggs, I think. So, um, just just a, a few a few tractors. Let me know what you guys think. The Bolins, I'd love them to go to a Bolins collector. The International, I'd love it to go somewhere where somebody would go, oh man, I've been dying for one of these things. 
And the Jacobsons, one, the Jacobson in there, one of you guys already mentioned it. You guys could see the big honking rear end on it. That's kind of the reason why I bought it. I always thought with um, that kind of heavy gearbox in the back, if I decided to build something else out of it, I could make something cool. But, you know, it's, it's getting to the point where how many things could you ride, right? Like, I'd like this thing to be in a spot that's easy to get to and ride. I got plans for this thing to put that 125cc into and have that available to run and ride. I have an engine to put into this guy. Then it will be available to run and ride. The club car over there, I've been meaning to build uh, its own special ignition system for um, put a Honda carburetor then it will be available to run and ride so after a while you, you just got to make a decision what am I keeping and what am I getting rid of and I think some of the tractors given how heavy they are how hard they are for me to move about um, like for me to bring that Bolins over over to the driveway for people who know Bolins they know they don't move that easily even if you pull the pin in the back and a lot of times on the old Bolins the pin in the back isn't all that easy to pull to make the uh, rear end free wheel I mean it's it's just a heavy monster of a unit and uh, they're they're hard they're hard to move about the International isn't bad to move about I'm sure the um, the Jacobson isn't bad to move the 650 is easy to move but those G10s and 1050s for the Bolins they're, they're like moving I think they got more metal in them than a Kia alright folks um, once again I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing remember to keep your feet down keep your heads up and get out there and enjoy all your days bye now folks